Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to conclude round one for the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. And it's been quite a while since I recorded the last one, but I am back in business. And we have four matches down here left to go in round one. So let's go with our first one. Right there, in the red corner, one of the tournament hot shots, we got Sorrow Faganax. Probably a fan favourite for many here. A lot of people hoping it does well in this tournament. Will it do well? I expect it will do well in this tournament. I would say it's the favourite in this matchup in particular. However, in the blue corner, one of my personal favourite fire dinosaurs, the Yangchungosaurus. Yangchungosaurus could be one to watch as well in this tournament. It's going to be an intriguing match. I think Surofagnax will edge it, but I don't think it's going to be that easy because Yangchungosaurus is a decent dinosaur. Okay, so we got Skizzers and Skizzers. Ties do suit the Yangchungosaurus. And I'm sure that if Yangchungosaurus wins, Ties will help him. And well, that's a good start there from the Yang. An atomic bomb and a tiebreaker to come. Wow, it looks so tiny. It looks so tiny next to the Sorofagonax. But yeah, the scaling is a little bit off. Like, Yangchungosaurus would have been a little bit... Well, it's not big, it wouldn't... Sort of Faganax is bigger, but it wouldn't be that bigger. Although, I do think Sort of Faganax is slightly oversized in this game. But that's just my opinion. Well, oversized or not, it's getting his butt kicked so far until a kamikaze tackle happens. Neom. Boosh. Oh, look at that. Instantly leveling things up. That's the power of this beast. Oh, oh. Ooh, the ties there favoring the Yang. Ooh, but it's Sorrow Faganax snatching the 1 0 lead. Just shows the power of this beast. The Yang Chungosaurus was on top for most of that match until the last few rounds. And it's Sorrow Faganax that takes a 1-0 lead. Surprisingly, actually. But as I said, this is going to be a very close match, I feel. So, let's move on to round two. Right then, round two. And we're in the meadow. Well, I'd say the meadow, you feel. Boosh. Can Yang Chunosaurus even things up? Or will Sorrow Faganax snatch the win? Go on, then. Let's have a look. Well, it's Yang Chungosaurus starting strong again with a crit. Although, it didn't really help it last time, did it? Boosh. Yang Chungosaurus getting... See, Yang Chungosaurus got... was getting the hits last round, but Sorrow Faganax's hits just did so much more damage, and that made the difference. But, I think this time, Yangchungosaurus is in fact going to win. And even the score. Oh yeah, definitely. Didn't give Sora Faganax a chance there. Right then. You all know what that means. It all comes down to the next round. Right then, the deciding round between these two fire dinosaurs. Which one has enough fire left in the tank to get the job done? Will it be Sora Faganax or will it be Yang? I still think Sorrow Faganax because of this huge attack power. And he does get the first hit this time. Decent amount of damage dealt there with probably its weakest attack. Oh, looks like it's Sorrow Faganax starting strong this time. Can he go far in this tournament? Well, he's got to win this match first. Oh, well, oh, yeah, he's won this match. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of underwhelming, but it's Sorrow Faganax getting the job done, doing to Yang what Yang did to it in round two. So yeah, after all that, it's Sorrow Faganax advancing to the last 16 round. Job done for Sorrow Faganax. Right, let's move on to our second matchup of this session. Right then, in the red corner, in the Alpha Arena, we got the Megalosaurus. Again, quite a popular dinosaur. A lot of people like Megalosaurus. I personally like it, and it is my favourite secret dinosaur. 
In terms of design, anyway, I just like Megalosaurus. It's cool, okay? In the blue corner, we have the Dilophosaurus. The little ratty thing, as I like to call it. It's, well, it's going to have a very tough time against Megalosaurus. But, do not underestimate it. I did use it in that Japanese guys tournament. And, well, it sucked. <laughs> I tried a similar moveset to this, and it, 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 it sucked. So I don't really have much hope for Dilophosaurus, but you never know. You never know. The little ratty wind dinosaurs, they do well. Boosh! It's a tie. Ties favour the dialogue though, by the looks of it. Megalosaurus did take more damage. And yes, for those of you that are curious about why fi little things flash up on the Megalosaurus, it's because it's warning time. Lily and Q are coming in here. I think that means if I use paper and win, then that paper move will be a lot stronger. Ooh, but it's a crit from the Meg. Wow, that was a decent amount of damage there, leveling things up. But that hurricane beat has been triggered. But will the Dilophosaurus get it off? But so far, it's all ties. Oh, he is getting it off. And this is going to give the Dilo a 1-0 lead. Go on, little Dilo. You can do it. You can do it. Kick the crap out of Megalosaurus. Kick it to death. Kick its nose. And kill it. And we got Final Fury for overkills. Well, Dilophosaurus has the 1-0 lead. Can he pull this off? Let's find out in round two. Right there, round two. Will the Megalosaurus recover from that first round loss? Or will the Dilophosaurus pull off a shock? I, be I believe in you, Dilo. I believe in you, even if no one else does. Hey, yes, we're using Fool's Cap this time, because he did use Megalosaurus. And it only just occurred to me after I swiped Dr. Z. Well, the Dilo gets a crit. Are we in for an upset? Oh, the tie. Ty's favour the Dilo, though. He won't mind that. Wow. <laughs> I, think, I think the Dilo's going to win. The little Dilo is going to pull this off. But let's not forget, one secret move from the Megalosaurus can change everything. Oh, he's gone! Megalosaurus biting the dust against the Dilo. Wow, a moral victory for the little ratty wind dinosaurs and a moral victory for all those that love Dilophosaurus. And it is Dilophosaurus pulling off the shock against Megalosaurus to advance to the last 16 round where he will face Sorophaganax. And well, if he beats Sorophaganax, that would be a shock. Well, well played by the Dilo. As for the Megalosaurus, proving yet again why it sucks in comparison to the other secret dinosaurs and why it is the weakest. Let's move on to our third matchup of this session. Right the O then, in the red corner, we got the Lexovasaurus, the 1200 strength powerhouse, a dinosaur I rated very highly when I did the Earth tier list. Will it do well in this tournament? That remains to be seen. Didn't really do well in the Earth Shakers tournament, did it? In the blue corner, however, we have yet another 1200 strength dinosaur, the Monolophosaurus. Monolophosaurus star! Well, we've seen Dilophosaurus win. Can Monolophosaurus win? No, I think Lexovasaurus is going to win. But how many times am I actually right in these videos? I think I just gave Lexo the kiss of death. Tight. Lexo does have the sand trap because it used it in the anime. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the sand trap. Lexovasaurus off to a good start. And Monolophosaurus's chances are sinking in sand. Boosh. Oh, oh, there's the lag. That means Mono will take a lot more damage during a tie. 
And we're going to see now. Yeah, look at that. Massive amount of damage there. Sand Trap. Pretty strong. Oh, oh. Another Sand Trap. And that is going to be a 1-0 lead for Max Over Sword. Wow. This actually might be the first matchup where a Dinosaur wins without actually getting a hit. Like, I don't count this as a hit hit. All right, it kind of is a hit, but it's, it's like not a hit hit. All right, they don't win at rock, paper, scissors. Let's say that. Lexovasaurus. Proving how deadly he can be with the sand trap. Right, let's move on to round two, shall we? And see if any of these dinosaurs can get an actual hit. Right, which one of these two will prevail in this round? Can Lexovasaurus make it two now? Or will Monolophosaurus even things up? Ooh, ooh, Monolophosaur is getting the opening hit this time. Someone finally get an actual hit. Ooh, Monolophosaur is getting a crit as well. This is a strong start. Lexovasaurus yet to get going. Oh, Lexovasaur though does get the next hit. Not much damage dealt though. Dino Illusion has been triggered. That will make things a little bit tougher for Mono. But we got a Giga Rock Hammer coming in, adding add in additional damage. But Lexovasaurus needs to get past Dino Illusion. Ooh, it's a tie. Well, Sand Trap does get around Dino Illusion. So that is something to take into account. But Lexovasaurus won't need to worry about that because Monolophosaurus gets the crit and evens the score. Ding! Bam, bam, right deal then. Let's get on with the deciding round between these two. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Will Maxovasaurus come back to win? Well, will Monolophosaurus, I should say, come back to win? Or will Maxovasaurus hang on to get the job done? Ooh, I, I, I still think Lexo. I still think Lexo will get it done. But Monolophosaurus showed a bit more in that last track. Ooh, and he gets a crit. He gets the opening crit. That's a good start from Monolophosaurus. Taking the lead. Okay, yeah, I think I've, get, I've just given Lexovasaurus a kiss of death. By saying I think he's going to win. The Pianitskisaurus coming in to help out. Should this be allowed? This is basically teaming. <laughs> I should disqualify the Monolophosaurus for teaming. Oh, look at that! Archaeopteryx Charm coming out of nowhere to heal him up. And I think he healed the poison as well. Could that be the turning point? It might be. Lexovasaurus getting off a Giga Rock Hammer as well. Could that Archaeopteryx Charm have been the turning point? Dun, 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 dun. Well, if Lexo has even things up. And has now taken the lead. Ooh, but the Dino Illusion has been triggered, so Lexo will probably need at least... Well, it'll need at least two hits to win. Three without a crit. Or you just have to hope and get a Giga Rock Amp. Or a Sand Trap. Or a tie. Lexo is tight. Wait, what tight sucks? Oh, he gets it! But the Dino Illusion's gonna save Mono's blushes. But now, Lexovasaurus is... is in the driving seat to win. And is that it? Nope. Sandtrap would have finished it. Yep, that's it. Game over for Monolophosaurus. Wait. Wait, is Lexovasaurus tied defense time? Because it didn't take any damage during that tie. Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to check that later. I think we might have got the battle type wrong all along. And it's supposed to be tied defense type, not super defense type. Huh. But anyway, regardless of that, Lexovasaurus wins the matchup and goes through to the last 16 round. Who will its opponent be, though? We are going to find out 
in our last matchup of this session and the very last match of round one. Right then, in the red corner, we have, well, the red-ish Tujongasaurus. The Crypt, the King of the Crypts itself. Although, it only has Atomic Bomb and it has Quake Saber. <laughs> Doesn't have Rock Roller this one. But, do not discount how powerful that crit still is without it. Right, in the blue corner, we have a Shunasaurus. Shunasaurus star! Can this Shunasaurus do well in this tournament? Oh, I just realised we have a Battle of the Bronzes. Both of these two are bronze dinosaurs. Which one will prevail? The winner will take on Lexovasaurus in the last 16 round. And we have a Fool's Cap Mirror match, which is unfortunate. Ooh, that's a tie. Okay, ties would definitely suit Shunasaurus there. Another tie. Yeah, this Shuno is tie type, I'm pretty sure. Ah, press, press rock! <laughs> I, I moved the bloody emulator, I'm sorry, hang on. I need to get it right. That was a shit ton of damage. I'm sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. There. That'll do. <laughs> Technical difficulties there. Okay, shockwave happened, so Shunasaurus will be going paper. And Tajongasaurus will be going paper as well. But this is a strong start from the Shuno. Ooh, burn atomic bomb. We all know the strength of this Tajongasaurus is crept. Boosh. Oh, look at that. Almost killed it. Aqua Vortex, though, might have just saved the Shunasaurus. Might have just saved it. Oh, I think it has. Aqua Vortex is gonna save the Shunasaurus's blushes, and I think this is going to be lethal. Oh, what a timely Aqua Vortex that is. Oh, it didn't kill it. Never mind. Oh, well, actually, yes. This shockwave will confirm that Shunasaurus will win round one because, well, it's tie type, so it's not going to die in a tie. And you know what? Because I don't need to generate the moves, and I'm not sure I'll happily prove that. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That shockwave guaranteed Shunasaurus the win there and a 1 0 lead. But Tajongasaurus definitely ran him close. I have a feeling this is going to be a very close encounter, so let's see what happens in round two. Alright then, round two, and hopefully we won't have any technical difficulties this time. <laughs> well, the Tajongasaurus even the score? Oh, well, Shunasaurus dump his way through. Ugh. Bloody mirror matches are annoying. Ooh, well, that's a brilliant start from the Shuno getting a crit off the back. Technique boost there. Oh, that's a tie. But again, tie suit Shunasaurus. He won't mind that. Ooh, but he's gonna mind this. It's an atomic bomb. And we saw how much damage it did last round. Yeah, look at that. Aqua Vortexo yet again getting triggered. But this oh, oh what happened? But this time it is Tajongosaurus getting the hit. And I think with the Onion Gira die, yep, he is gonna even the score. Well, quick as a wink, we are level pecking between these two. So you all know what that means. It all comes down to this deciding round. Right then, our deciding round between Tajongosaurus and Shunosaurus. Both of these two have been, I've been impressive so far. But which one is going to have enough fuel left in the tank to get the job done? <laughs> oh, Shunasaurus starting with a crit. A shockwave would really help him turn the screw early on. Technique boost there. No shockwave though. Tajongasaurus getting away with one. 
Oh, and striking back as well. It's not a Quake Saber, but at least it's a hit. And a dive to come. However, Aqua Vortex getting triggered there. Will help Shunasaurus. And Shunasaurus still retains the lead. And he's going to be extending that lead. Boosh! Technique boost there. And the shockwave, is that it? Is that going to be it now for the um, Tajongasaurus? Because it guarantees Shunasaurus at least tie damage. Because he will go for scissors. Oh, is that it? Well, another shockwave is probably going to end this match. Yeah, I think that's game. Yes, I really ought to do something about that. So, yeah, the scissors. If this is scissors. Oh, it's scissors. So, Tajongasaurus is going to cling on. Can he snatch it with a crypt? No, 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 no chance of that. <laughs> he probably could have snatched it with a crypt, but the Shunasaurus was having none of it. And it's Shunasaurus who advances to the last 16 round. And Tajongasaurus will be bowing out. Right, let's have a look at our last 16 lineup and end the session. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our lineup for the last 16 round. So we will start off with Kentrosaurus going up, going up against Krylophosaurus. The Krayosaurus taking on a Patasaurus. Sejuangosaurus going up against Sinraptor. Kamarasaurus taking on Armatus. Satiosaurus versus Eustreptospondylus. Camptosaurus versus Brontokins. Sorophaganax versus Dilophosaurus. And Lexovasaurus going up against Shunasaurus. But yeah, probably the biggest shock is this one down here. Megalosaurus going out to a Dilo. And we got Aloatrox getting taken out by Sejuang. That's, oh, Torvosaurus getting knocked out by Camptosaurus. That's kind of a little bit of a surprise. Didn't think that was going to happen. But yeah, is your favourite still in this tournament? If so, leave a comment down below. And that will conclude round one. So I... Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you for the start of the last 16 round. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.